Assalamu alaikum and peace be upon you. If you go to the western side of Toad Town, where the harbor is, you'll find an old toad standing by Club 64. Even though he looks like a generic young toad, when you speak to him, you'll find out that he is much older than he looks. Possibly he's as old as Toadsworth. Let's call him Old Story Toad. In the beginning of chapter 2, you can speak to him and he'll tell you a story about Koopa Koop. A long time ago, I went to Koopa Village too. I remember it like it was just yesterday. There were all sorts of people. Uh, that is Koopa Troopas there. One Koopa loved the radio, I recall. There were four Rowdy Brothers that giant can see. Oh yes, there was also that world-renowned explorer and archaeologist, Colorado. If I recall correctly, his wife was always worrying about him. I suppose she wanted him to stay home a bit more. I wonder how all those Koopas are holding up. Both the Koopa Bros and Can See ended up becoming hoodlums, though the Koopa radio lover is still as chill as ever. It's also interesting that this is the first time we hear about Can See, since we won't actually meet the giant turtle until many chapters later. If you speak to Old Story Toad during chapter 3, he'll tell you about Dry Dry Desert and his experience in Dry Dry Outpost. It should be noted that Old Story Toad always talks about the previous chapter depending on the chapter you're in. So if you're in chapter 5, he references chapter 4, and if you're in chapter 6, he speaks about chapter 5. Hello Mario, I heard you hiked over to Dry Dry Desert recently. A long time ago, I went to Dry Dry Desert too. Sadly, I got lost in the desert. A noble soul by the name of Mustafa saved me though. The way the locals referred to him, I assumed at first he was a fierce, stern person. But once I spoke of him, it became clear to me that he was quite a nice guy. A secret surrounded this Mustafa. I was let in on it. Mustafa is actually- No! I can't tell you! Well, Mario, because it's a secret, that's that. During Chapter 4, Shy Guy Mayhem, Old Story Told, like most folks in the port, is completely undeterred by the chaos. And so he tells you the story of the time he got lost in Forever Forest. I got lost in Forever Forest a long time ago. I wandered around and around in circles for a good while, utterly lost, and at last I came to a mysterious mansion. It was there I met the boo by the name of Bootler. This Bootler used to travel around the world having adventures with a pair of his friends, a Goomba and a Koopa Troopa, we now know as Goompapa and Koopa Koop. We spoke of many things, he and I. He even told me of his undying love for the mistress of the mansion. There was a little girl brood there then, the granddaughter of the mansion's mistress. She was headstrong and very spoiled. Still, she was cute. I wonder how she's doing now. She must be beautiful. Well, old story told, Lady Bo is doing just fine. I just wish they had a special interaction since it seems that he knew her as a baby, but oh well. Hello Mario, do you happen to know the owner of the bad shop that recently opened? Ralph? I met that Ralph in a different town a long, long time ago. Back then, he was selling rare foods, not badges. I recall that he had a beautiful wife at the time. They worked so hard together to build a business up from nothing in that town. His wife doesn't seem to be here in Toe Town though. I wonder what happened. Hey Mario, I heard you went over to sea to Lava Island recently. I went to Lava Island. Oh my god. The folks in Yoshi's Island took really good care of me. What a wonderful place it was. Such a mild climate and some of the tastiest foods. I remember eating picnic lunches on the beach. Sea breezes, it was just fantastic. Oh, it's been too long. I must go again sometime. Hello, Mario. I heard you went over to Flower Fields recently. I've never been there myself, but the elder at Koopa Village, the esteemed Koopa Koop, once told me about the time he journeyed to Flower Fields in the days of his youth. According to his tale, he valiantly saved a big tree called Wise Wizard. Old Koopa Koop, he told him a million stories about his travels. He was a famous explorer when he was younger, probably the most famous Koopa in the land. Perhaps it was Koopa Koot's influence that led Colorado into the adventuring life. Finally, in the last chapter, 
the last thing Old Story Told ever says is, Hello Maru, in all your travels, have you ever been to Starhaven? As far as I know, no one has ever been there. It's too far off, way beyond the clouds. If I could have one wish, it would be to open up the Toad House in Starhaven. Don't you think it would be amazing to live with the stars surrounding you? Personally, I would think so too. You could stay for free, of course, whenever you came. And that's all, everyone.